Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to perform packet capture on VLANs and that is in the Cisco Meraki Management Console. So let's review this network diagram real quick. We have two VLANs, VLAN 50 and VLAN 5. Uh, the default VLAN is 5 and we have devices on VLAN 50. The question is how do you do packet capture, let's say, on VLAN 50 if VLANs don't have a um, physical interface, right? So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Let me minimize and minimize. So when you go to Network, Packet Captures, uh, you have to select the device you want to do the packet captures on. In my case, I have a Cisco Meraki MX, MS, and M um, MR, uh, the uh, switches, access points, and the firewall. So I'm going to come over to my um, security appliance and in this case, uh, this is going to show me the different interfaces my security appliance has. So that's what you see here. And I have to select where I want to do the packet capture on. So I select this. And in this case, I know that my VLANs are running on the physical LAN interface, right? So I'm going to select LAN. And let me bring this back again. Remember, these VLANs that you see here going over to the switches and the switches are tagged, that, that's not going to be the physical interface that I'm going to be doing the packet capture on, right? I have to select, in this case, my um, LAN uplink because that's where all, all the VLANs are going to be traversing through that. So you have to know or you have to identify where to do the packet capture on. Uh, depending on what you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for traffic from one VLAN to the other or traffic going from one hosting and internal network to the internet, you have to determine where you would like to do the packet capture on. That's why you have these other options side to side, client VPN, any connect, cellular, so on and so forth. But to do packet captures on VLANs you have configured in your network, then you select your LAN interface. And remember, again, I am on my Cisco Meraki firewall, and that's the interface that I'm selecting. And then uh, right from here, you can select the uh, TC dump um, extensions or expression, I should say. Uh, if you don't do it, if you don't type in the expression, it's totally fine. You can do the capture but that is going to capture everything that is happening on that LAN interface. It's all the VLANs. So you're going to be capturing a lot of traffic and most of the traffic is not what you're looking for. But I always suggest to capture everything and then apply display filters because that way you don't miss any of the information. If you type in an expression here, you're going to be capturing only that traffic for that expression and you're going to exclude everything else. It is better if you do the entire packet capture and you're going to see everything. Obviously, if you have a large, busy network, uh, the capture is going to be uh, busier than, than the one that I have here. Uh, but once you do that, then you come in here and you type the um, display filters that you want to apply, right? Again, going back to what I was looking for, I wanted to see the traffic coming from uh, 172.16.50.2. So I would just type in, there are many different display filters that you could use. You could type something as simple as one, you know, IP source 172.16.50.2. And that's gonna show you the, uh, the traffic that is going through, that is coming from this device or you could type, uh, you know, like if you're looking for a specific uh, uh, protocols, you could type that in here. <clears throat> or you could type, I believe there's one more filter that I can type either. 
no, this is not here. This is for TC dump. Um, but anyway, so that's how you capture VLAN traffic on Cisco Meraki. You do the capture on the LAN and then you apply the display filters on that. So I hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.